Hey guys, and welcome back to the video. And sorry about if the audio is a bit weird today. Uh, but yeah, so I'm building the watchtower. But instead of being a watchtower, it will actually be a residential building. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, also before I <laughs> explain what I'm actually doing, just to let you know, apparently 75% of my viewers are not subscribed. So it will be great if you guys would subscribe. And yeah, that'll be all. So yeah, I'm just back to the build. I'm just uh, building the floor layout. Of course, with that, I realized that this is not in the right. I, the scale of one room was smaller and then the other one was bigger because apparently I couldn't calculate. So yeah, it's 6 and 4, making a 10 by 10 build. And it'll be like a 4 story, but 5 story if you count the patio on the very top. So yeah, I'm just trying to fix it because originally I thought the tower's in the center, but I realized that the tower actually is on the edge, so I actually move that back. And that continue that sort of stairway upstairs. And yeah, just put that wall back. And I do use mostly, if not all, of uh, cottage living, but if there is, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, but I did try to limit my pack to only cottage living and base game. So yeah, just do paneling. Originally, I, I want to have that brick on the bottom, but the only one with that brick would be paneling and... I mean, it's fine. So yeah, I put the kitchen there at first. But then, uh, well, you'll see in a bit, but yeah, so I just like laying out the basics of what, at least what I want. Obviously, after the like, basic like wall placing and all, I do change up all the other stuff. Because originally it's a watchtower, so I mean, but then you don't really have a watchtower in, the, at least in this sims. There's obviously the medieval sims, if I remember, if I know the sims correctly. But this is just regular sims 4, so. Yeah, and I just use yellow rather than, I guess, the traditional green. Though I think I used some yellow in uh, my other build, but anyway, at least I'm trying to use different colors. Somewhat, and I use that kind of like the tiles, so it looks at least that at least fits the vibe of that modern, uh, old style build, I guess. But yeah, so I, yeah, here I move it, and I realized that one wasn't the right color. But anyway, I move all of these to this side. Though I think I might have actually placed that sink in one, if not, maybe not. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, so I move all of them there. And I do kind of open up that side so that I can have a kind of an archway that goes through there, which is right here with these. And yeah, so I do also kind of expand this area so I can actually have kind of a living space. So yeah, I just push it all the way back to stairs rather than the stairs having that thing. So it's a bit more open for at least like in terms of where the living room would be. So yeah, I use all like here all again, cars living stuff. Wish there was like a love seat for that one, but apparently there isn't. So, oh well. And yeah, obviously it's not going to be tiled all the way. So yeah, I'm just using... I think I use a basic one. It's I, I tried with blue. I, I wanted to match the kitchen, so I used this peachy one with the panel. Which looks nice. And I used the arch here as well, so it's like more a bit open all the way. So yeah, also put there. I do change also the stairs to the cottage living. And I think I used the yellowish tone. I guess it kind of... It's not exact same yellow, but I mean, I guess the yellowish tone, but yeah. So I also I keep that table, small table, because I would think I want to also have a sort of a breakfast nook. And also, yeah, I try to keep, like, these items also a bit old-style-like. So, yeah, and then I also put a kind of a cupboard thing here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that, I think, also is from Cottage Living. Yeah, yet again. And yeah, I'm just, like, putting furniture. I also do put more than this. I also uh, put... Like, uh, if you see in a sec, uh, no, not yet, I guess. Okay, we'll come back to that, but anyway. So yeah, um, so yeah also, that that small uh, room, I want to make it a bathroom, but it'll be weird to have an ensuite for just that. So I decided I'm going to kind of, again, change the floor plan, and again, put that kind of bump in. But then I realized that the bathroom's a bit too big, so I do well, sort of uh, push back. So maybe the toddler can have a bit of a bigger room, so that's a bit... And, oh, and then because it's a bit bigger, I decided to have two toddler beds. Maybe this household has two toddlers and a teen, which we'll go in a sec. But yeah, so I'm 
just furnishing the bathroom here and and then yeah this will be the sort of teens room and yeah this because there's a weird kind of middle area which wouldn't fit to be a bedroom i decided to make an office i'll just put desk there to mark it's a bedroom office and yeah this is a master bedroom or you could just call it a loft bed i mean loft suite because there's no really a room to it there's no door closing it so yeah and now i'm just like uh, putting pictures again i'm trying to keep it base game and cautious living but <laughs> that painting was sized up but i didn't really like that so i just i think i actually sized it back down and put it somewhere else so yeah temp at least temporarily there so yeah i'm just placing different paintings here and there and uh yeah a lot of paintings here and also i i first used that one which, which looked nice but i decided to use that cottage living which looks lovely and matches this kind of vibe and yeah it's just like rotating around I th also i th oh wait, actually yeah um yeah you, you'll see it at the end but i do actually it's actually some parts are not recorded in the video but there is in the tour which you will see later but yeah so i'm just also adding these pa um these windows with uh, kind of uh, shutters, which look lovely and match again with this vibe. And I, uh, yeah, originally I put that one there, but I do remove them just like kind of mirror the front and back with the windows. But uh, yeah, and yeah, just more paintings to fit this, or like uh, some artwork that will kind of fit this vibe, which that sort of does. And yeah, so. There will be actually a back door, which, so that means that uh, that uh, family portraits will move, which you'll see. But yeah, so I'm also using those uh, lights, which all again fit the vibe. I was going to use that one, but I will use that somewhere else. Actually, you won't see it in this time last, but yeah. So I'm just putting also that sort of like uh, maybe a recipe, like the, in old houses they have those chalkboards, or like it look nice, I guess there if it didn't. It would be, and yeah, so I used different paneling because that one, while I like it, it was too much of a paneling. So I wanted more, less of a paneling, I guess, if that makes sense. And also, if you notice in the image, the second floor is like a roofed, kind of, like it's like a like kind of slanted roof that kind of mix with the room, which I don't think I can do fully. Well, at least I'm, I'm not really used to it. So I decided I'm going to do sort of like um what you might call like a like a barn style roofing if, if that makes sense it, so like the top will be sort of less slopier than the bottom part and yeah so i yes yeah, so that's why i'm kind of cropping out the corner three corners but i don't do that for the other corner because that will be the tower but yeah so i'm just continue yeah so you'll see here so it's be slower uh right now it's a bit high but later i do change the height i think yeah, so I'm just also... The weird thing is, for some reason, the the Sims 4 decides to say that that, you see, yeah, there, it's like column in the between there, which I don't, I, I mean, didn't really make sense. It doesn't even happen on the bottom, so I decided I'm just going to remove that and just use the other one, which without which is without the column. Ugh, my word is weird. Yeah, so I'm also trimming that so that it doesn't look weird there. And yeah, so I'm just now fixing all the lights upstairs and such. And I I start now furnishing the toddler's room, uh, which I put like few stuff uh, that fits the vibe. Again, I wanted to use some stuff, but they were apparently part of parenthood. So I guess I can't use them. So I at least tried my best. So yeah, I'm just like changing the swatches. So that at least the wood swatches are somewhat matching, and yeah, and yep, yeah, some paint uh, picture that the kid drew on the wall maybe, and yeah, just I was going to put that there, but I decided that calendar is going to be in the teens room. So yeah, uh, yeah, and I again the same thing with that closet or the dresser. So I put that one instead, and yeah, I'm just changing that one to match the wood. And yeah, sometimes the the door has this weird glitch where it's sort of kind of clip thing looking if that makes sense like it's not looking like a door it's like a wall rather yeah so yeah i was originally gonna do that realize you need a way to go to the teens room which obviously that wouldn't work and that other one didn't work because that will kind of open up weirdly in the bottom so yeah i put like that uh, that 
uh, fence will change, and I will probably use that outside. But uh, apparently there's no diagonal version of that, so I use the other cottage living one. So yeah, and... Yeah, uh, so yeah. For, uh, also, this door I, is not... It's technically supposed... To be, I want it to be like that one, but just without that locking mechanism, but... I guess that will have to work. And as for this one, I'm assuming, I, I'm imagining that that paneling will kind of uh, go diagonally down the stairs, which can't be happening in, well, won't happen in Sims. But it's okay. It, 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 it has that vibe. And you would know. And yeah, just uh, changing the swatches of this again, just to have the similar. So I do use sort of a greenish and cyanish vibe in this teen's room. Yep, and with that counter I mean the count uh, the the nightstand table thing yeah and I use I yeah I use that one but I don't do that pattern thing which I did with the master bedroom which you'll see in a bit so yeah I use the same tile on the bottom and I oh, originally I was like maybe I should use also the same with the tiles I mean the the wallpaper I guess in a sense tiling wallpaper whatever. but it was weird so yeah again this one I decided I'm just going to just use two side by side yeah there. so yeah here yeah as you can see it's it didn't, it didn't fit the vibe so i used that same thing in the hallway and yeah and as i said upstairs here yep yeah, <laughs> while i changed the roof height uh i just continue that wallpaper from downstairs to upstairs well again because that roof was clipping i decided that i needed to do it into parts which i did and use the half gables to sort of hide that, I guess. And it, it was fine. It looked nice. It, it has that thing. And, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the railing didn't exist. So, I changed that to the other one. And it looked nice. And, and yeah, doing the same thing from the downstairs upstairs. So, like, again, <laughs> that caused that to happen. So, like, that. Apparently, the fences make this room a bit weird. That's why I had to fix that. So yeah, that this area is going to be sort of like an office area with that desk, and there's going to be also bookcases. Uh, yeah, just don't mind me trying to fix all the roofs and whatnot. But yeah, so there I'm putting some bookcases down. I do change that one to a different one, but I size that down. But I mean, <laughs> there was another one that looked well fitted more with this sort of house. Not this one, I changed it to, the, yeah, this one, so, yeah, so I just deleted all those, yeah, made that brownish, also size that down, so it fits down the stairs, and just put some few plants on either ends, and that's about it, and again, the same lighting downstairs there, uh, yeah, I'm just going back and forth, yeah, yeah, here's me putting the windows also in the back, because I want to kind of mirror the back and front, so I'm sort of going back and forth, but yes, and yeah, uh, I do like half ones, sort of, si it's not the same window, but I guess it's also from the cottage livings and it fits. Yeah, and I removed that one as I said before. And yeah, so that's that windows, sort of, yeah. Uh, so I like, I fiddle around with that column and stuff, but which apparently I didn't need to because as you can see in the image, it's actually like bricks or stone bricks, I guess. So. I do actually change that to that. But yeah, back to the build. Uh, or like the rooms. So yeah, I'm doing the master bedroom. Also, there's this kind of up this doorway that leads to upstairs, which is like a patio space on the very roof area. Well, very roof. Anyway, yeah, the roof area. And yeah, so I'm also doing kind of patterns, so alternating between two of the similar looking ones, which makes it look nicer. I also learned that from another simmer. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm also now putting this. It's a bit overhanging. Only it's, Apparently in the image, it's, it looks more overhanging on one side, but I just dis I later decided it will, will be more overhanging on all ends. But yes, yeah, so I'm changing all this to this uh, stony brick that is also it. But then it's too much. Like I wish it was like in between. But I guess I had to use this one. And then I used this um, column, which... I was sort of struggling, not much, but yeah, so I just do that. Apparently on these, this corner and the other side corner, not the middle one, apparently for some reason it looks as if it's kind of off-center, but I couldn't fix that, so oh well. 
I guess. <laughs> so, oh yeah, and then this one, I had to put back the grid so that it would work, so yeah. Yeah, I couldn't fix that, but yeah, so, well, also these have to extend two tall, two hi wall heights tall. So yeah, I just put that uh, on all ends, like it's kind of overhanging on all ends. And yeah, I just put like some patio stuff that maybe like parents can kind of uh, enjoy, have some barbecue on their own, like have a, like a me time on of their own. And maybe perhaps they can even like watch from their balcony if their kids were outside playing so they can like at least see obviously it'll be weird because they if they if their child gets injured they have to like hurry down but at least they have the view to kind of yeah, do that so yeah i'm just now furnishing the parents bedroom sort of bluish tone here with that same dresser which i really love and yeah i also wanted to put some pet stuff but again i wanted to keep it pack limited so yeah it's just a few like plants here and there and some paintings which uh, they do actually move because i do put like the yeah, bay window here which obviously is like right where the painting is <laughs> so yeah i do that i was going to do bay on either end but i felt like it was too much so i do use that yeah and then, like this is too much as well so like i said just put some one triangle roof or like pentagon roof and that other one yeah would look nice. And I just like readjust it so it's like centering the tower rather than just like mirroring on the house, I guess. So like it, it, it works. And yeah, just put some flowers here and there. And yeah, um, yeah, actually I, oh, I didn't put it on that then. You could actually also put it in the stairway, I guess. But I, I did here because I wanted to have this sort of bump out area. It's not really a bump out of the house. You can imagine it's kind of like a shed that they built. And it just happens to be that they lean it against the house. So yeah, I, I was going to use that door and then I wanted maybe a bigger shed. And I, I wanted to use the other one, but the double door apparently doesn't work. And I didn't really want to use the other one. So I used, I was also going to try to do a kind of like a sneaky like door open version. But like it wasn't, it looked didn't look good. So I just had it like this. So assume there's like doors on this, just maybe it's open. And yeah, so I put that. Thing. So obviously I made that shed just to fit that shovel in there. And also I do put in a garbage thing in that shed. So it, I mean it looks nice. Yeah, like that. But I don't know if it works. So if it doesn't work, maybe you can actually rotate the the garbage to, to the side. Because it is a two, wide, two by one wide thing. So yeah. And yeah, I just decided that this is a... Uh, in the final touring of this build, you'll see that I actually moved this lot to a different place. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, and then I put the gate that matches this stony vibe, I guess, in a way. And then, yep, just a bit of a terrain painting. I decided to use more, more of a stony path, which looks nicer. And yeah, just like painting around the house which actually helps it. So it doesn't look like this house was just plopped onto this lot and that it actually looks like it was built from scratch. And yeah, it's just also, I know I know I just said I moved a lot and I just realized as I'm recording. So like in this original idea that there's a back door or like the back gate that kind of goes to the back, that back area of this lot. But Obviously, in the newer one, it wouldn't really work. I guess it might work. I didn't. I didn't remember, but it would be weird. <laughs> I guess it's not the same vibe as I was going for originally. But either way, I would still have wanted that back gate anyway. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just putting some like farm lots. I mean, what do you call that? Those uh, gr uh plots. I guess farm plots. Uh, just so to add more to it. So yeah. Uh, you, you'll see me just like continuously looking through the debug, like trying different like filter and stuff. But for some reason, it wasn't giving me the tree that I wanted, or like at least the debug landscaping that I wanted. But anyway, at least I got some other stuff. Like I actually put some pumpkins. You, if you want, you can actually delete those and just like, make them empty. But like I, for my purpose of just like putting stuff there and make it look like lived in, I did that. And yeah, so yeah, again, just looking through debug again, just trying to find those debug landscaping, like trees and bushes. But 
for some reason I can't find a single one. And it's literally on show all, but yeah, apparently I can find these like growable trees, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> after a long search, I just decided to use, yeah, whatever, I'll just use these trees. It wouldn't hurt. So yeah, I've just put some of these trees, like just maybe rotate around so that it doesn't look like it's the same tree over and over. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, now let us tour this build of this lovely farmhouse. <laughs> and also I realized I sort of had this lot backwards, so I actually do upload this properly in the gallery so that it's actually facing forward, so like I'm in the backyard apparently. So yeah, that's the power bill sort of in the back with the windows lining up properly. And yeah, I actually did this recording with this game, but apparently the recording did not work, so yeah. Anyway, back to this build. So yeah, this is the yard with the front gate and with the mailbox there and also kind of a swing set and a pathway back. So yeah, I did scoot it so it's, I don't know if it was, it was in the video, but I did scoot it so that it's like one side. And also all the trees are kind of dead with the plants a bit dead because it's spring and my actual build. But yeah, so this is that shed that I was talking about with that shed tool and uh, garbage uh, uh, can, a box, whatever that was called, I forgot. But yeah, so there's the living space, lovely, cozy looking. I guess I should have made the breakfast nook color a bit bluish as well, similar to my furniture. But yeah, so yeah, I also added that kind of a half bath down there. It kind of fitted there, and I also wanted to have another bathroom so that fits. So yeah, there's, yeah, I should have probably put a painting on the other end, but yeah, so it works anyway, at least. Yes, yeah, so there's a breakfast nook that I just mentioned, and there's the kitchen yellow, all yellow vibes that fits the yellow theme-ish stuff with the dining area. So yeah, just added, I don't know why I'm pointing at those, as you can already probably know that's there. So yeah, there's the dining area. Maybe I should have put some like plant in the center of it. I always like don't know how to place plants in this like, kind of build. So yeah, there's the stairway that comes in through the back area. Okay, so yeah, and so that's the sort of the teens room. And yeah, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I should have probably put paintings or something at the end, I say. And yeah, so uh, and yeah, there's the teen, I mean, not teen, the toddler's room. Apparently I used the same swatch of bed on either end. I don't know, I thought I used different, but I guess I did. And yeah, so that's, and yeah, just, and upstairs here now, I've, you, oh, as you can see, it's an office space with that desk. And then finally upstairs, there is that master bedroom or a uh, loft area because there's no, as I say again, no door to it just the stairs to the room, <laughs> as I'm trying to show here, but yeah. And uh, now upstairs, which looks really sad, is kind of like a patio, a kind of a uh, lookout area, but it does have a lovely view. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as you can see, I'm trying to show, so yeah, there's that uh, spiral pathway they can go to, and they just enjoy the view, and there's like waterfall nearby, so they can see that. I should have probably put some plants up there. But yeah, that's that for the house. In the back, the door from the dining room, room there's like those plants or like crops. So like pomegranate, cherry, and pear tree. And all four of those are pumpkin. There's two different like pumpkins like in the debug apparently. I don't know why, but anyway. So yeah, there's the path there and the chicken coop with nothing inside and a wild rabbit home that you can name. I actually haven't used much of this cottage living. Um, and also, I'm, yeah, in my actual, like, not so very challenge, and yeah, I haven't really got to a generation that will use the kind of farm stuff. But yeah, and sorry again, this is like spring, so like all the crops are, I mean, all the plants are a bit dead looking. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!